Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Today I'm gonna to show you a review of the new text edge effects, which is done by my buddy iDesign. And uh, him and Sam Walker spent a lot of time working on this preset and it turned out really sweet, so I wanted to uh, do a quick overview for you. So you can go ahead and go to c4dtools.net to find this preset, and it's uh, 15 bucks, which is a great deal. So basically what this plugin does is it gives you a bunch of control on uh, the bevels on the outsides of your text. So there's tons and tons of options for different bevels. All of these really intricate effects uh, can be made in just a few clicks. So these are really good for making it look like your text is very complicated and you spend a lot of time customizing it. Lots of uh, kind of details on there. So go ahead and download that and put that in your library. And that's gonna be in your content browser. So let me uh, find that right here. Here we go. So we're gonna have two things in this text edge effects folder. And one is the text edge effects for text and one is for splines. So let's go ahead and double click on our text and we'll open that up. So what we have is our text uh, options. Let's go ahead and look at that first. So your text options are exactly the same as MoText. The nice thing is if you look at this orange uh, kind of stroke around here, that's uh, the bevel default. And no matter what you do, changing your text, that bevel is gonna stick to it, which is one of the, the very cool things about this. Once you customize it, uh, you can change the text very easily. Um, so that's the text options. You have all of your options for uh, Motex. And then let's go to our, let's go to visibility quick. So what we have is the text visibility, and we can turn that off if we just want to have our bevels, and we can turn off the individual back or front bevels. So um, just keep that in mind. Sometimes just having uh, one of the bevels is actually kind of a cool thing. So that is there. And then all of your Fong and your subdivision settings are in the visibility options tab. So that's kind of the utility tabs, right? The cool stuff happens in bevel options. And the best part is in this spline preset. So if we twirl this down, we have all of these different options. So let's go ahead and put, say, one of these profile ones on here. So then you can see that it updates the edge effects with our spline. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's try something crazy like the flower. If we go ahead and look in here, you can see that we're already getting some pretty crazy uh, detail in this. All right, so besides picking out um, all of these different options, which could take you quite a while to get through, we have our bevel scale. So you can go ahead and just scale this whole guy up if that's what you want. And uh, the cool thing is Z-scale, which actually is the extrude depth. So you can uh, extrude it quite a bit. And what would happen if we went into our visibility, turned the back bevel off, and then we can also slide the position of this guy. So then we can just maybe have one bevel, we can make it really thick and uh, maybe place it sort of in the middle of this guy. And then we have this really cool effect where we have all this extra detail on our text and it looks really, really nice. And then another really cool thing is the growth, which means you can actually animate uh, the bevel. So let's go ahead and check this out. So you can see that it's sort of drawing on. So another thing that we could do is go to our visibility options, turn off the back and turn off the text visibility, then go to our options for the growth. And we could actually have this guy growing on, uh, kind of like a growing stroke, right? So the really cool part that I enjoy is just being able to experiment. There's just so many different variations uh, that you can plug in and uh, you can just really play around with this plugin for quite some time and get a lot of different looks. So that is the power of this guy, adding a lot of customized bevels and being able to experiment quite a bit. So that is the new text edge effects version one. And we're actually gonna do a giveaway on my blog and EJ's blog, I Design. So check those out right now. And we're gonna put on a, a contest to win a couple of free plugins. So make sure to check this guy out. It's a really cool tool. And we will talk to you next time. Bye everybody.